Remember those days when you were a child and you hated nap time? Yeah. You, you might have been at school. They lay a little bat out there. <laughs> oh, it's Whoa, a deer. We almost hit the deer. Almost hit the deer. That's almost. the first time in my life. <laughs> Oops. Wow. Wow. That's, <laughs> that's crazy awesome. I got the deer's butt. On Good camera. thing I wasn't looking at the camera when the deer ran across. Wow. My goodness. So. Is what it is. We're gonna go to Johnston Creek. Johnston Canyon. Johnston Canyon. I'm really good with my uh, my names. Uh, we gotta ride the Icicle Parkway. Icicle no. Highway. No. Popsicle Parkway. No, babe, you're gonna say ice fields. Popsicle Parkway ice sounds. Fields. But Popsicle Parkways, it rolls off your tongue. More people would remember it. It's <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I don't remember this coming in. Do we go the right way? I have no idea. Yeah, everybody's going to Disney World now, so they must be coming from the Bicycle Parkway. Popsicle Parkway. Ice Fields Parkway. It's actually the road that's Canada One in between Banff and Jasper. It's the Ice Fields Parkway. So what I thought we were on last night Technically, it's the same road, but because we're in Banff, it went nice with the parkway, yeah. That's so, apparently, it gets prettier. That's because it was the Popsicle Parkway. In between Banff and Jasper. So, I'm excited to see that. That'll probably be tomorrow. Hey, so we're about to hike the Johnson and Canyon Trail to the upper and the lower falls. We're off a... Uh... Popsicle Parkway? No, the Icefields Parkway. Actually, that's further up going into Jasper. So no, we do that tomorrow. First, we're gonna hike the canyon. Uh, it's supposed to be really nice. And um, dogs are allowed in the Canadian National Park, so excited Everest. for us. Everest can go with this final. Yep. She's got her little jingle bell, so she sounds like Santa Claus everywhere she goes. And we've got our bear spray. Bear spray. Be bear aware. Something like that. Yeah. All right, let's head on out.
thing. So we just did Johnston uh, Canyon, almost said Falls, because Chris keeps calling it Johnston Falls. It's, it's right Johnson off of, Canyon. It's off of Popsicle Parkway. Oh. No. <laughs> uh, no. No. It's off of 1A. Okay. The Bow, was it Bow or Bow Lake? Bow. B-O-W. B-O-W. So, say Bow. Bow or Bow. If you're Snoop, it's Bow. Like Bow Wow Wow. So, it was pretty cool. We got there early enough yeah. to enjoy it. You need to get there super early super because early. it gets very busy. I advise going Before 7 a.m. or yeah. earlier because there's a lot of people. The parking lot fills up very fast. We got we're in the overflow parking. 7.30, first cars in the overflow. The overflow parking was full. Maybe we there were back. 20 people ahead of us. Yeah, it wasn't, when we got there. It wasn't too bad when we got there. When we were leaving, it was nuts. Yeah, the, the canyon's beautiful. The hike is worth it. It's only about a mile and a half. Maybe two. Yeah, two and a half. Two, like and um, it gets narrow at points, so it's like you're there and it's really busy. You basically have to be squeezing by people. So just go, go early. I advise um, it's totally worth it. Um, there's two main waterfalls, the lower and the upper, and um, there's a lot of little waterfalls that run along the river. Tell them about the secret one. Yeah, there's a there's a secret one that's not so secret. Thanks, Instagram. <laughs> if you go on Instagram, you know there's like the famous Johnston Canyon picture and. It's kind of off the, it's not on the trail, so unless you look for it, you're going to walk by it. Um, you need to go off the beaten path a little bit, but it's pretty, you know, if it's you were beaten. looking for it, you can see that it's there. So you just go down and you get into like this, would you call it a cave? Yeah, it's a cave. It's a cave made, you know, who knows how many years ago by the river that's flowing through there and there's... Like a, almost like it's like a horseshoe bend, kind of like, and it's just really neat. And there's a waterfall at one end of it. It's about 15 foot waterfall. You can go underneath the waterfall. You can go underneath the waterfall. Yeah, it's just beautiful. Don't go underneath there with your camera. Yeah, I don't, did that. Don't do that. It wasn't, wasn't so good. So, uh, totally worth it. Take your bathing Beautiful. suit. You can swim. No, it's cold. Take your bathing suit. You can be an Instagram model. It was 37 degrees. Please don't do that. Take your bikini. Please don't do that. I'd take my bikini. No. I want to be an Instagram model. No. We got to do something to get our numbers up. No. Not doing that. No. Now we're going to the city of Banff. Banff. Uh, just to check it out, hang out for a little bit, because right now it's, you know, um, I'm not gonna park anywhere. it's noon. It's so busy. And it's super busy out. Everybody's doing it. So we're trying to avoid the crowds and we're going to go relax somewhere and just chill. And then to check try out. to do yeah. Marine Lake yeah. tonight. Hopefully when she says too busy. chill, that means nap time. I'm going to pull over on the side of the road and sleep. We got up early. Well, that's how it works. I was just thinking this morning about how we spent a couple days in Revelstoke and didn't really get involved with helping people out. And uh, and then we see a car on the side of the road and we hop out. And uh, that turned out that, that was a guy named Mike. 
He's from Quebec City. He's a cook. He was actually on his way for an interview at a restaurant and, uh, and he ran out of gas. He forgot to put gas in his car this morning. Happens to all of us. I said, well, that's easy. At least I don't have to crawl underneath the car and play around with stuff to fix it. So. And we carry gas on us. And we carry gas with us. We were actually, we just went down to Canmore to go fill up on, on our own gas. So we always have, uh, have extra diesel and jerry cans and we also have extra gasoline for our, our gas generators. So that was a quick and easy fix. Gave them about three gallons worth of gas and uh, that'll get them on the road. So uh, it just cost us, what, 20 minutes and, yeah. and a couple bucks. Yeah. And that's, uh, that's how we do it. That's how we travel. We travel with purpose. Lindsay said nobody cares about this fact I'm about to share with you, but I think it's very important. Nobody's gonna care. Nobody's gonna care? <laughs> I got a nap today. That's awesome. Remember those days when you were a child and you hated nap time? Yeah. You, you might have been at school. They lay a little mat out there. Like, oh, it's a deer. We almost hit the deer. Almost hit the deer. That's almost. the first time in my life. <laughs> Oops. Wow. Wow. That's, that's crazy awesome. I got the deer's butt. Good camera. thing I wasn't looking at the camera when the deer ran across. Wow. My goodness. So, so yeah, you might have been in school laying on the mat. And, uh, you know, I went to a school that didn't have mats, so I laid on the ground. But I hated it. And then, of course, there's times when you get home and all you want to do is run around and play. And you have to take a nap. I love my mom, but I do not love that I have to take naps as a kid. And I love naps now. We're on... 1A, yeah. right? which is on the, the, park one. the less traveled side of uh, the river. We and so, see animals. Yeah, we almost get to hit animals. Yeah, the deer. Yeah, the deer. So we, uh, we just pulled over on the side of the road for a couple hours and I took an awesome nap. I feel like a whole new man. Evers took a nap. She feels like a whole new pup. Lindsay, I don't think she napped for a couple minutes. 15. 15 minutes, but she made a really awesome meatball dinner. So we've eaten and we've rested and we're ready to go for the day. It's now 7:40, which you, you couldn't tell that by how light it is. The sun doesn't set till 10, so we're kind of, I guess, we're in golden hour. We're coming up yeah. on it. Oh yeah. And we're gonna go to Lake Moraine. Lake Moraine. So apparently everybody runs back to their hotels right around this time, so the parking lot sort of empties out. Which is good, because with this tank I usually take up like three normal parking spots. <laughs> Mostly just because I can. I probably piss somebody off. I'm not really that, that self-centered. No, we're not. We try not to take up more than one spot. No, we try not to, but sometimes it just happens, you know. So, uh... Ah! Seriously? That didn't work because we actually got scared by a deer. Yeah. I thought another deer jumped out. I tried screaming yesterday and uh, and I scared Lindsay, but she had just stopped recording. Yeah, so. I'd already stopped the camera. So we thought, you know, I'll, I'll do it again. I'll spook her at some point. But then we just had the deer run in front of us, and that was a legitimate reason to, to, to get all puckered up. So anyway, here we go. We're on our way to the next part of our journey. 